there's a general culture Australia-wide, not just Adelaide, and that is um, uh, the tall poppy syndrome. The sense of someone uh, achieving any sort of success and they need to be cut down straight away. Um, or they need to be reminded of how small they are. If you say, oh, I'm going to make this feature film, there's a lot of knockers. There's a lot of people that are going to be, um, really, you're going to make a film, are you? Oh, great. You know, it's a, it's a sarcastic environment. It's, it, it can be very toxic for a creative person. And I didn't realize that too. I had spent a lot of time in LA. And, and one thing I, um, I, really, I really feel strongly about is this sense of, oh, well, that's just who we are. We're just Australian men. We like to knock people. We like to put down people. We like to, we like to give them some shit about what they are, not, not to take themselves too seriously. Um, I, you know, it's fun to a certain level, but the thing about creativity and coming up with an idea is it actually works a lot better when it's nourished, when it actually is supported. And um, I found a network of people here, close friends, that you can throw an idea out there and every now and again they'll go, dude, that's total shit. But more often than not, they go, yeah, what are you, what are you thinking with that? Like, uh, let, you know, let's talk this through. And it's something that's supportive and nourishing. And I, I really think that we got to get out of that mode of just knocking shit down for the sake of knocking shit down and thinking that we're, you know, either in a too small a marketplace to make it happen or, you know, uh, we, we've got to head a certain direction with it being culturally significant because that's what's going to get funded or any, anything that, like, just gives us a sense of being smaller than we are. When here, I feel this sense of you can be as big as you want to be, you know, and that is a really important distinction in that I feel this sense of um, support here for any creative idea to actually see it through, get it to a point where it can be judged and looked at and actually, um, you know, considered on its own merits rather than having something shot down from the word go. And I find that that's something that um, took a little while to get out of of actually having the guts to be able to say to someone, hey, I've written this thing, do you want to take a look at it? And that came from Australia. There's a sense of like just not wanting to let anyone get too far ahead out of the pack. It's something that I've learned is a very important part of creativity is to be in the early stages surrounded by people that are going to help you develop the idea and are supportive of it because if you ever get that thing made you know you're gonna have plenty of time for criticism and people to tear it apart but at the beginning of something when you're developing something you really got to have people around you that are going you know that's 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 good here's what I think you could do to make it better and um, that's something that um, I, I just feel it becomes part of our culture in a way that I, I don't think is a good part of our culture I think we should support our people more and I think that we should be happier when they succeed. I had a really good supportive relationship in Adelaide and I think that goes just, you've got to go find that yourself, you know. I, I worked a, a long time with Christian Molière and Shane Yend in Adelaide on a bunch of projects and that was a very supportive thing. It's actually similar to what I've found here. Um, it was something that we would meet once a week or twice a week and we would be talking about projects and ideas and stuff and the bottom line is is all of this stuff it feels like charades you feel like you're playing dress up you know like you you got to get over that you got to get over the sense of like that you're pretending to be a a, a a filmmaker and go listen this is what I'm doing it's 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 what I it's my job and I'm gonna meet you know a couple of times a week with people to help develop these ideas um, the thing is I've formalized those relationships over here in Adelaide they were a little bit looser here they become formalized and what I mean by that is I have a script editor that I work with I talk to him five six times a week I meet with him once a week and it's like having um, a sort of personal trainer where you feel obligated to this other person and you may feel lazy one day about exercising but you you feel obligated like I, I gotta get going and it keeps this rhythm to your work going um, I think you can find that anywhere you just gotta find the right people and you gotta knuckle down and do the work you know and don't get caught in turning that one meeting a week into five meetings a week and all you're doing is talking about the stuff that you're not doing you know because it really does come down to at some point sitting by yourself and, and doing the work. I don't know, there's so many things going on. I don't think anyone knows really what's going to happen here. Um, 
I do know that the things that we've been promised are starting to happen with Hulu and some of the online sites where finally the TV people have gone, okay, we'll give up our programming and force you to watch a 15 second spot before it, you know, on, online. Um, but I was talking to a friend last night at dinner about this, is that I seriously, in that 15 second spot, I'm looking for things to do for 15 seconds. I'm looking to write a check or send something or, or check my mail or anything. I feel after years of TiVo that you're not going to get me back, you know, I don't want to be forced to watch ads again. Um, and so I think that's one thing online, I, I, I can't, you know, emphasize enough how happy I am to spend 30 or 40 dollars on a season of Mad Men rather than have to put up with any advertising whatsoever. I'd, I'd much rather pay. I, I don't like to get bogged down on like all these negatives about it. You, like everything's evolving, everything changes. You know, if you're not fast enough to sort of work out a way how you can be relevant in what, what the new industry is, then um, yeah, you shouldn't really be trying. You shouldn't really be in it.